In today's video, we'll be doing a full in-depth review of Rider AI. Now, Rider AI is an AI copywriter that you can use to create short and long-form copy. Now, I came across Rider AI while doing a review of Rider AI versus Jarvis AI. And while doing the review, I must say that Rider AI really exceeded my expectations in terms of the quality of output, in terms of the feature, but most importantly, in terms of the pricing of Rider AI. And that's what Rider AI is all about. It's a powerful yet affordable AI copywriter. Rider AI currently has a deal for $39 for a lifetime plan and use of Rider AI. This really is a steal, so if it is available, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, when it comes to an AI copywriter, price isn't always the most important factor. The quality of output is. So let's actually start using Rider AI to see the sort of quality that we can get from this AI copywriter. So once you have your Rider plan, we're going to start writing. And another thing that I really like about Rider AI is the design and user interface. It's very beginner friendly and it's very easy to use. When it comes to other AI copywriters, there can be a pretty steep learning curve, but Rider AI makes it very easy for a beginner to start using an AI copywriter. So the first thing that you wanna do is select your language. There's a bunch of different languages here. Um, we're going to go ahead and keep it at English. And next we're going to select your tone. So obviously depending on the type of copy that you're writing, um, you're going to want to sort of uh, change this. So I'm gonna keep it at convincing. And next you're going to want to choose the use case. So if we're writing long form copy, then we may do the blog idea and outline, the blog section writing. But if we're doing short form copy, then we can do um, the AIDA framework, the PAS, Problem Agitate Solution. We can do some SEO meta and title tags. We can do song lyrics. We can do some website copy. We can do some testimonials. So as you can see, you have a variety of different use cases or templates in which you can use. Now, most of the time when you're using an AI copywriter, it's mostly for long form content. So we're going to go ahead and use the blog idea and outline template. So I'm going to try to write an article or blog post on how to start an online business. So that's going to be my primary keywords. And for outputs, I'm going to keep the outputs at three. So that means it will give me three different outputs and I can choose the best one out of those three outputs. So once I'm happy, I'm going to click start writing and let's see what sort of content we get. Okay, so the complete guide to starting an online business, a step-by-step -step guide for beginners, pretty good. Introduction, what are the common mistakes people make before starting a business? Create a name, register, da da da, okay. Um, the basics of starting an online business, types of online business, how to choose the best one for you, how to grow a brand, customer acquisition, the funnel approach. Okay, this is pretty good stuff. Um, this is the third variation that we got. What is your primary goal? Identify your customer and they need. Find a product or service, choose the right platform for your needs and start building your website now. Okay, so as you can see, we get three pretty good outputs. I would obviously say um, probably the middle output is the best here because um, we can write some really good content around these different uh, H2 or subtopics here. So once you find whichever one you like, it's pretty simple to use. Um, if you don't like anything, just, just delete it. Um, I don't know if there's a better way to do that. That's how I do it. And the cool thing is, is let's say you find a subtopic in another variation that you like, you can just copy that over and then paste it and then paste it into um, the blog post outline that you're going to write with. So by using the blog idea and outline um, use case, we already have a pretty good format and pretty good direction for the blog post in which we're writing. Now to actually start writing content for these subtopics, what you're going to do is we're going to highlight the subsection and the keywords. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click paragraph. And what that's going to do is it's going to write a paragraph on the selected text. So here we go. Why start an online business? So starting an online business is not the easiest, it's not only the easiest way to profit, but it's one of the most lucrative. There are plenty of new business ideas to choose from when starting an online business, whether you're working, whether you're interested in making money with your knowledge or offering a service that solves customer problems. And this is pretty good content and it's pretty true as well. And this actually is one of the reasons why I love um, building online businesses and also making videos to help others uh, build online businesses. So pretty good content here. 
Um, so different types of online businesses. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we get here. But before going on to the next subtopic, I think if we actually highlight this paragraph, we could probably expand this. Okay, so let's see if we expand how this is going to look like. Yeah, so we added another sentence here, which is pretty good. So if you wanted to just make the intro a little bit longer, then you can do that by any means. So what we can also do is, if we wanted to write more content, we can highlight the last two sentences. And again, I'm gonna click paragraph and it's going to write uh, more content about this subtopic. So if you wanna make money with knowledge, you can then start a blog or YouTube channel. You can also provide advice or information on your own website. Wow, pretty good stuff here. I must say I'm really, really impressed with the quality of output that you get from Writer AI, especially when you take into account how affordable it is. So again, if we want to get more content for our second um, subheading, we do the same thing. We're going to copy it. We're going to click paragraph and we sit back and we let the AI do its thing. So as we can see, we do get some content here, but it's a little general. I would have preferred a little bit more specific content based on different types of online businesses. So let's try this. Let's see if we copy this right here and we're going to put it into the primary keyword um, for the blog idea and outline. Let's see if we're able to get a more sort of list style um, output. So once we put the subheading um, that we wanted to get more sort of outlines or points or bullet points for, um, we got a couple of different variations here. Let's go through them and see which ones um, we can work with. So this talks about types of online business you can start, how to get funding. Um, I think the second variation was pretty good. Um, again, it talks about the different types of online businesses, um, types of online businesses, models from e-commerce platforms to crowdfunding websites. So this is more specific and this is more of what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'll just copy this and right under here, I'm going to paste this right here. And what we can do is this right here is a, we can make this an H2 and this will be our H3. So this will be under the heading of different types of online businesses. And once you go through and you pick out whichever H2 tags or subheadings you like the best, you want to remove all of the excess outputs. Uh, you don't want to make it too messy. That is a possible sort of downside to having this very simple interface is that I could see it becoming a little bit messy, especially when you're trying to pull subheadings from different outputs. Okay, so different types of online businesses. This can be sort of our introduction to, to different types of online businesses. And if we want to um, get more uh, content around different online business models, um, let's say go ahead again and we're going to highlight it and then we're going to click paragraph. Boom, so there are many types of different online businesses. Each of them have different business models. Some focus on e-commerce platforms. Again, really good stuff here. The platform business model is the most simplest and most common form of e-commerce. So again, as we can see, the output is really good and it gets a little bit more specific and goes into actual business models that you can uh, look into if you want to start an online business. This is really impressive because with most AI copywriters, you usually have to prompt the AI, you have to delete a bunch of content or you'll get a bunch of content that has nothing to do with what you're writing about. But with Writer, I find that we're getting really good output. It's sort of on the money in terms of what we're writing about. Obviously, you'll have to make some changes here and there, and you'll have to guide the AI and delete some content. But for the most part, we're getting some really, really good content. And, you know, we've written almost 700 words, and I haven't even actually written one line, right? I've just put in the outputs, and I've just been generating um, content using the AI. So of course, when continuing, you want to just uh, repeat the process. So again, we're going to um, just sort of highlight this right here. We're going to click paragraph and it's going to give us some input based upon our subtopic here. And when we run the output for a conclusion, we get a pretty decent conclusion. But as you can see, this saves you so much time, you know, within 10 to 12 minutes, we were able to do 700 words. And I'm sure, you know, if we were locked in, we would be able to do a thousand uh, 1,500 words in less than 30 minutes for sure. But it's also very high quality content. So it really expedites um, the time that it takes for you to create content. So if you're a blogger or you're writing a lot of content within your business, um, this would be a really invaluable tool for you and your business. And if you're writing short form copy, 
then you have a bunch of other different templates or use cases that you can use. But when you use the long form copy, this really gives you a good idea of how good the quality is and how good the AI copywriter is. So I highly recommend that you go out and you get the lifetime deal of $39 for Writer AI because I don't think there's any other software in the market right now for such a low price and such a high quality AI copywriter. So if the deal is still available, it'll be in the link below this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'm glad that I was able to find an AI copywriter that's actually good, but that's also affordable for many people. So now you have no excuses to go out and start building the online business of your dreams. If you like this video, then I ask that you give us a big thumbs up and that you subscribe for more videos in the near future. Until the next video, stay well.